Hey y'all, we have already chopped our cauliflower into pieces. Now I'm gonna take my pieces and put them into my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, rice and cauliflower is gonna be pretty difficult because you're gonna have to try and do it by hand. I don't even really know the effectiveness of that. I'm sure you can do it. I wouldn't recommend it. You can, in fact, buy rice cauliflower oftentimes at the grocery store, which is great. And if you want to do that to save yourself some time and for the convenience of it or you don't have a food processor, go for it. I highly recommend it. I do that in my normal life uh, because it is more convenient. But this isn't really the end of the world. It doesn't make it that much um, more inconvenient, though, if you just do it right. So that's in the food processor. Everything's nice and tight on there. I'm using the button that's pulse to chop button, and I'm just gonna, you know, every so often do it, pulse it. I wanna break up those bigger chunks, but I don't want it to like grind down super, super fine. Looks like I might be there. Couple more pulses. And then you can see that I have rice cauliflower. It's not the most perfectly even. There's some larger chunks in there. So, you know, that I'll, now that I'm looking at it, I could maybe put that top back on and pulse it a few more times. But that's roughly the texture that we're looking for when it comes to rice cauliflower. All right, that's it.